So the Center for Laboratory Safety is, is a new center. Um, there's nothing like it anywhere in the United States. It fills an important gap, something that's missing from our understanding of laboratory safety in terms of what research is out there that shows what regulations work, okay, what lab safety programs work, and which need to be modified so that they work better. That information is, by and large, missing from, um, from the laboratory safety community and, uh, and the research community. So really, the Center for Lab Safety has a tripartite mission. One is to support research in laboratory safety, and the other is to take the outcome from that research and then turn that into best practices that we are going to implement here at UCLA and hopefully at the other uh, nine UC campuses. And then take the outcomes from those best practices okay, and provide important information for the global research community so they can emulate that. Yeah, the Chancellor's made it clear that he wants to see UCLA as best in class. And, and as a result of that, we're really putting a lot of energy and effort into, the, into sharing our, our experiences with other universities. And, and, you know, when a lot of other universities that have had accidents, uh, you know, have been reluctant to, to go in front of public entities and, and, and talk about what their lessons learned, we've actually been an exception. It's important to share, okay, our findings um, and, um, our materials, our lab safety materials, uh, with the global research community because we recognize that the problems that we have at UCLA are not particular to UCLA, okay? They're global problems in lab safety. And so um, we can really provide a leadership role in improving lab safety in, in all laboratories, and not just academic laboratories, but government laboratories and private industry. And there's a lot of interest in um, coming up with empirical data that either shows or disproves that certain regulations okay, really make labs safer. None of this is going to be done by one person. It's, it's, it's a whole team of people and for them to understand how important this is and the, the critical role that they play in protecting the health and safety of their colleagues uh, in, in the laboratory community has been really critical in, in achieving the effect that we want. You know, we're asking people to change their behavior in a direction that will make their work environment more safe, okay, and make them more safe. I mean, that's the goal. Hopefully we don't have regulations that are just, you know, willy-nilly, okay, that there's some purpose to it. And so it's very important to um, get people in the laboratory and the principal investigators to really understand why it's important to be compliant with all the things that environment, health, and safety are asking them to do. And these are big changes. I mean, it's, it's not just changing the culture of the laboratory research community. It's in changing the culture of EHNS as well. We've revamped our entire laboratory safety program. We've put a lot more uh, emphasis on accountability. Uh, we've done a lot more inspections. In fact, our inspection numbers have skyrocketed. They've had exponential increases and the number of inspections that we've done. And we've also in, in, improved the quality of the inspections. We have a quality assurance checks to make sure those inspections are actually good. We've increased the number of inspection parameters that we look for when we do an inspection. Uh, we actually have um, some um, requirements for the inspectors to actually make sure that they provide inspection reports the next business day. So the, after they do the inspection, the inspection report goes to the, the laboratory, which is important because we want to make sure the laboratory actually gets that report as soon as possible so they can make the, the corrections as soon as possible. We don't want the report to, to linger in our office for any length of time so that, you know, those, those corrections aren't made. So we, we want to make sure they get uh, to, the in, to the laboratory within a very short period of time, and, and our requirement is that they be issued the next business day. Um, and that's done a, a couple things. Um, it's given the, the laboratory uh, the information they need to make those corrections. Um, it's given expectations to, to our laboratory inspectors so that they know what is expected of them. Uh, and that's in, in, improved the productivity of, of the inspectors themselves. What we're seeing is a dramatic improvement okay, in uh, lab researchers following this personal protective equipment regulation, but we want to document that. We, want, we don't want it to be a feeling, okay? We want to come up with numbers, okay? And then, um, and then down the line, hopefully, we'll be able to gather data on whether or not we see a decrease in injuries in the laboratory.